Good morning. This is Dr. Brain welcoming you again to this neuroanatomy site. Today we're going to begin our discussion of the brain stem microanatomy and as such we will start with a section taken from the most caudal portion of the brain stem, the medulla, which we're going to refer to as the motor decusation. By the way, this is the motor decusation. This is the caudal brain stem. You remember from our previous discussions that there are essentially three neuroanatomical pathways which we must be very familiar with in clinical neurology. I'll review those pathways with you as we go along. But in summary, they are one, the lateral spinothalamic tract, which is here, two, the posterior columns, which are up here, and three, the pyramids, or the cortical spinal tract, which are here. If you know where these tracks are, what they do, and where they cross, where they begin, and where they end, you'll be a fairly decent neurologic diagnostician. Slide two, the motor decusation, the caudal medulla. This slide comes from the most caudal portion of the medulla as it is merging with the spinal cord. This area is roughly around the foramen magnum. There are essentially five structures in this slide which you need to know where they are and what they do. So let's begin with the dorsal portion. Note the following. One, the fasciculus gracilis. And of course on the other side, this is the fasciculus gracilis. The underlying nucleus gracilis. And of course on the other side, this is the nucleus gracilis. Two, the fasciculus cuneatus. And the underlying nucleus cuneatus. On the other side, the fasciculus cuneatus and the underlying nucleus. Three, the spinal trigeminal tract, which is this very thin, right on the margin of the medulla, this tract here, and the underlying spinal trigeminal nucleus, which is here. On the opposite side, the spinal trigeminal tract, and the underlying spinal trigeminal nucleus. Four, the lateral spinothalamic tract, and we'll have to use our imagination here, is in this region. And on the opposite side, the lateral spinothalamic tract. And five, the motor tract, voluntary motor tract, the cortical spinal tract, otherwise known as the pyramid, the cortical spinal tract, and of course at this level, the decusation of these tracts, of these two tracts. The cortical spinal tract decusating to this side and this cortical spinal tract decusating to this side. By way of function, let's go through these structures. The fasciculus gracilis is carrying vibration, two-point discrimination, and proprioception from the leg and the lower trunk, the, lo the fibers synapsing in the underlying nucleus gracilis. The fasciculus cuneatus is carrying information from the upper trunk and arm. This information is two-point discrimination, vibration, and conscious proprioception. And it is synapsing in the underlying nucleus cuneatus. The spinal trigeminal tract is carrying pain and temperature sensation from the face the nasal cavity, the aura cavity, etc., from the most of the head. And the fibers are synapsing in the underlying trigeminal nucleus. Four, the lateral spinothalamic tract, as I say, please use your imagination. The lateral spinothalamic tract is carrying ascending information of pain and temperature and crude touch from the body going to the postcentral gyrus the sensory area. And last five, the pyramid, cortical spinal tract otherwise, carrying information from the cortex. This is the voluntary motor pathway. And at this level, this most caudal level of the medulla, 
These fibers are crossing over to the opposite side. This track crossing here, and this track crossing here. Are there any questions at this point? Well, when you say crossing over, is that the same as the term desiccating? Yes, that's exactly what the term means. Okay. Are there any other questions? If not, we'll proceed to our next slide, which is the sensory decussation. 